Hello everyone and welcome back to our Goa vlog where we will be embarking on another unforgettable adventure. And now in our third day at Goa we are here at Caesar's Cafe in Palo Alto. Seriously guys this place has stolen our hearts. This cute cafe has the most amazing pancakes and aloo paratha you have ever tasted. I'm telling you it's a pure bliss. And here's the best part. They have a bookshelf filled with literary treasures. You must visit this place. All right guys fasten your seat belts we have driven around 2 hours to reach north goa and the first destination on our list is none other than the breathtaking sinquarium beach so let's go to sinquarium and here we are at sinquarium beach the breeze at sinquarium was something else my friends It was so inviting us to explore its hidden wonders. We couldn't help but close our eyes and savor the moment. There's this ancient Agua de Fort towering above the beach, offering jaw-dropping views of the endless coastline. Can you imagine how awe-inspiring it is to walk along the ancient walls and soak in the salty breeze? Oh, it's pure magic. And guess what? From up here, we caught a glimpse of the neighboring Candelim Beach which looks like something out of a postcard the sight left us in awe and we could not wait to explore more Standing here at the Sinquarium Beach brings back old amazing memories of a long staycation at Goa but that's for some other time guys now let's get on to our next spot which is the legendary Chapora Fort Now let me tell you getting to the top wasn't a piece of cake the sun was blazing and the hike was no joke but hey nothing worthwhile ever comes easy right last time we were in chapora fort we could see shops on either side of the pathway which also provided shades all throughout the way but now i think they have been removed recently As we reached the summit we stood amidst history the very fort that graced the silver screen in Dil Chahta Hai the views were simply breathtaking and it felt like we were on the top of the world So here we are at the top of this fort but the terrain over here is a bit rough with uneven stones and rocky patches But it's not just the views at Chapora that take your breath away it's the winds Oh boy the winds up here are no joke they could blow you away if you are not careful but you know what embracing the wind is all part of the adventure again it's like nature giving us a high five for reaching this incredible spot beyond the fort's historical significance it was the sweeping views that truly captivated us the arabian sea sparkled in the distance its vastness stretching beyond the horizon the waves danced and shimmered under the golden rays of the sun creating a mesmerizing spectacle but wait there's more we have found this hidden spot where we descended from the fort onto a cliff oh my goodness from there we had the most incredible vistas of the big and the small bagheter beaches framed by lush greenery and the bluest of skies time just seemed to stand still and we could have sat there forever taking in the beauty Sitting at this amazing spot at Chapora Fort in Goa, I have a question for all of you. Have you ever been to this beautiful fort in Goa? If you have, I would love to hear about all your experiences. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's relive all those beautiful moments together. And for those of you who haven't been to Chapora yet, I'm curious to know, does this vlog inspire you to embark on your adventure to this incredible spot? And then we turned to the other side and our breath was taken away yet again. There lay the captivating vistas of the beaches nestled between the rolling hills and the endless sea. It was a picture perfect scene straight out of a travel magazine. What do you think? Now next up is the Arambol beach and we are here to witness another amazing sunset. And here it is. The sun has already started its descent. Last time when we were in Arambol it was not at all crowded but it seems its popularity has increased over the time and there were a lot of people at Arambol watching the sunset but with the crowd also it was like watching a real life painting unfold before your eyes the sun dipped below the horizon painting the sky in hues of orange and we were utterly mesmerized 
So guys, if you are in Arambol Beach, make sure to wait for the sunset to witness this magical transformation in the atmosphere. After soaking in the mesmerizing sunset at Arambol Beach, we were immediately drawn towards a mesmerizing performance by a talented fire dancer who seemed to dance in harmony with the flickering flame. Oh, and let's not forget the special planetary sighting. March gifted us with the sight of a dot below the moon and that dot was none other than the planet Mercury, a rare celestial treat that left us feeling connected to the vastness of the universe. Although the day was over but we still had some plans for our evening and we could not resist the allure of the vibrant Vagator night market. The night market happens only from November to March so we knew we had to make the most of it. The entire place was bustling with life and the air was filled with tantalizing aroma of street food. We found ourselves amidst an array of stalls selling unique trinkets, handmade crafts and scrumptious delights. The energy was infectious and we soaked it all in, feeling like a part of this incredible Goan culture. So guys, if you are in Goa during the peak season, don't miss this opportunity to immerse yourself in the vibrant world of the night market at Vagata. It's a true reflection of Goa's heart and soul. As the stars twinkled above, we hit the road again, taking the Dear Zindagi route, which is just as poetic as it sounds. We are heading back to South Goa and that's about today's vlog. In case you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more updates. In the meanwhile, take care and lots of love.